Alright, one more video for you today. Uh, gone through, did our hard drive check on this guy. And I'm just going to go through and, for the heck of it, uh, since I figured I got a system here I can do it, uh, show you a memory test. This is something where I would go through and use if I suspected that possibly the memory in the system is bad or if uh, you go through and you start up Windows and you immediately get a blue screen and it's not telling you something about unmanable boot volume or something um, error message more along the lines of um, page files or something like that being damaged or corrupt or unable to page area memory type errors so this is a free utility it's called memtest86 uh, you can pretty much download it anywhere just google it you'll find it uh, usually downloads it's an ISO image you download it burn it to a CD put it in the system start it up and you get this nice handy dandy screen here and what it does is it goes through and it tests the memory in the system in a variety of ways if I bring up the screen here you'll see that uh, we're running uh, test number four moving inversions random pattern and you can see the pattern that it's actually trying to uh, write and read from the memory right there as you see it changing Basically, if the memory is bad, it'll go through and try and write that pattern to a section of the RAM. And it'll go through and try and read it. And if it gets a different result or not what it was expecting or it can't even write it, uh, you'll get in this big blue area here, red line, with that, what portion of the memory was bad that had trouble writing to, as well as some other information. In general, with RAM you do not want any red lines at all. Uh, if you're getting red lines on here, that means you've got a bad memory stick. Um, and basically, the memory stick spot that it reports is literally the memory stick that is bad. So let's say uh, this system here, let's see, we've got, uh, there's another reason for a system to be slow, <laughs> 256 megs of RAM. Uh, Let's say you have that one 256 meg stick and it reports memory spot uh, 128. Uh, you can go through, open up your case, and look at uh, the memory configuration. Basically, from the processor up, look at that and check the size of the stick. If you have a 128 stick, or in this case, a 256, that uh, would be in slot one, you know that that first slot is bad. So you pull out that memory stick, you put another one in you run the test again. And if you get what we have here, no errors, that means it's good. Um, what can happen is sometimes you have two memory sticks bad. So if, let's say, or it's like the second memory stick, let's say it's the second memory stick. So let's say this has 512 megabytes and it's two 256 sticks. It reports section uh, 498 is bad. You go through, you check your memory sticks, you see the first stick is a 256, the second one is a 256. You know that that second memory stick is bad. So again, you can pull that out, run this test again, you shouldn't get any errors. Blue screen, just like we have here. First time a blue screen is a good thing, right? Put in another memory stick into that spot and you should be good to go. Um, but you can have two or more memory sticks bad, so that's why you want to go through, test it as soon as it finds a bad spot by either pulling out that memory stick or swapping them around and let it run some more. Uh, you're probably wondering what is with the test bars up here. The top one is the overall testing. Uh, see where it says past 45%? That's how far it is and testing one time around. Uh, right below it you see test 12 percent there that's where it is on the current test which is number six so once pass at the top goes to 100 it actually restarts again and you'll see this pass counter uh, increment by one if any errors occur you see the error counter increment by one. And that's it. A little free utility you can download 
Uh, just do a Google search for memory test. I've got a little bit of an older one here, but uh, it works on systems like this. So that's it for this time. Until then, take care and uh, if you've got any questions, post them below or send me a message.